Good morning, everyone. So I made you a twin flame video this morning that was super powerful. It is super powerful. So powerful that the video portion of this got blown out. I don't understand it. I know we're still in Mercury retrograde. That's going to move off um, Wednesday, but we're still in this shadow period and everything. So we've had some technology challenges, no question about it. I feel like this video is super powerful. And so it's going to become an audio. <laughs> so the, re the whole reading that I did, I did not want to blow it out because I thought it was important to share with you. It really is about uh, Leo time period is the first wave of unions coming together, this next wave of twin flame unions. And it really is about leading the revolution. And so I feel like this video, air quotes, is so important that, yes, uh, 30 minutes of this video our audio only. So my apologies for that, but I didn't want to get rid of the content because I thought it was important for you to hear. Just so you know, two things. We're doing a live uh, July 31st for the new moon. Um, we are coming out of Mercury retrograde. Hello, very much. Thank you. And um, Jupiter will be coming out of retrograde August 11th. So uh, stay tuned on this channel for the live this week. So without further ado, Here's today's Empress Club reading. Good morning, divine empresses, divine emperors. Is that right? No, divine feminine, divine masculine. <laughs> good morning, good morning. I know, I got pushed out of bed this morning, like, do this damn video. I know I haven't done very many videos recently, and I've been wondering why. If you're part of the Empress Club, please join. We talk a lot about Twin Flame Energy in there. Really good conversation, good community of folks who have some really amazing insights. And one of the insights yesterday was about waiting. So I said to them, <clears throat> hey, peeps, I'm going to do a video about waiting for your Twin Flame. And what I'm getting overnight and into today is a lot about needing to really shift Needing to really shift mindset about 3D versus 5D relationship and also what are you expecting and what does it look like and all of those things. And to me, the mindset of waiting, so we'll just take that one little example, okay? So waiting, the energy of waiting, right? You're telling the universe it's not here. So... What you vibrate is what you get back. You get more of, it's not here, okay? So that's the whole point of raising your vibration. The whole point of being in this higher vibration is to attract more of the higher vibration. Be in love. That's why being in love with yourself, learning to love yourself, being in the self-love vibration is the thing that draws love to you. Now, there's another piece here. Like, we've heard this for a while. I've been saying this for a year, for a year right? About vibrating in this higher vibration, moving out of the lower vibrations of, of um, anger. Waiting is a low vibration activity. It's like, right? And so not only have you stopped your own growth by waiting, but you are stopping the, uh, excuse me, you're stopping the connection. You're actively stopping the connection. Now, in order to move this connection closer to you. You first have to really, I feel like this is the challenge right now because I feel like we're all in this place of like, okay, I know I've seen readings over and over and over again of they're coming, they're coming. And so like, where are they, right? I think we have a mistaken impression of what we're talking about, of what it looks like when they're here. I think we're mistaken about this. I think we have old, old paradigms of things that have not worked, that were based in um, a different kind of, of template, a different, a different kind of living, okay? 20th century living is different than 21st century living. It's gonna be massively different, okay? So when we're talking about that, if you're looking for, the, excuse me, if you're looking for that same experience of relationship that happened in the 20th century, meaning 
we have courtship, we get married, we live together, we, and then it became corrupted by the idea of um, it, we're just chasing money, we're chasing money in order to pay bills, and we get tired and energy gets sucked out of us, and so we're low vibration, and the paradigm gets smaller, right? That paradigm gets smaller. And the reason I feel like that happened to marriage, as we knew it, as we, it's now leaving, is because we are now in much higher vibration. So the paradigm, the how it looks, needs to change, right? It needs to evolve with what we're doing. So what does that look like? And the, the cool thing I have been aware of or awakening to or awakening to is that it doesn't look the same for everybody. It's not gonna look the same for everybody. And that has to be okay, right? So, like, if your twin, um, they do everything out of love. This is how you know. I didn't really mean to get into this topic now, but I'm going to say it. How you know the difference between a twin and a, some people call it a false twin or something like that. I don't really believe, there's a twin or there's not a twin, right? There's no such thing. But there are karmic partners, right? There are catalyst partners. There are all, all these things, especially when you're on, the twin flame journey. How you know a catalyst versus a twin flame? A catalyst pushes you out of that relationship because it's so awful for you. There's You're just like, this is not love. But I know that twin flames reject each other and, and it's a difficult relationship, so I'm going to stay there in these bad relationships that reject and that hurt and all those kind of things. Love doesn't hurt, right? Love doesn't hurt, Oprah. So we give ourselves excuses. I know my friend Colleen, who works with me on the channel, is very famous for saying, famous in our circles anyway, right? Famous in your circles now. Famous for saying that twin flame gives people, she feels, and, and I have definitely come on board with this, giving people excuses for bad behavior. And I think she means it one way. I mean it the opposite way. I mean excuses. It gives people excuses for accepting bad behavior from people. It gives people excuses for like, oh, this is my twin, and so I'm going to accept bad behavior from them because it's my twin. And I'm here to say to you, let's break new ground here on the twin flame journey right now and say that twin energy is all about love, even if it can't be together, even if there's a reason to not be in one place, even if, right, if that person, if you're treating yourself with love, then they will treat you with love, okay? And that's why you need to get in high vibration. Because if you're still in this low vibration of negative energy and lower vibration patterns of waiting, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna waste my time on this planet. That's what you're saying to me. When, you, when I hear you, I'm waiting. I hear you saying, I'm not gonna be on my path. I'm not, because the energy of waiting is not on the path. Okay, the energy of wait is hold please, the energy of waiting is hold please until my twin's with me, until that can happen. It's more, remember I've been saying about productive waiting, and I guess I gotta get rid of the word waiting. Why? The paradigm is going to be different. The paradigm we're looking at is gonna be fundamentally different. It is not gonna look like 20th century relationships, and why should it? And so what is your paradigm of the relationship that's going to work for you? If you see yourself, because your mind cannot, this is why it's really hard, I think, anyway, is because we only have images of what it looked like at one point. We only have these images, right? This is what it looked like for my parents. This is what it looked like for my friends. This is what it looks like. This is what the ideal relationship is. And I think it's hard for people to grasp what a twin fame flame relationship looks like <laughs> without it being in front of them, okay? And part of being in twin flame relationships is also being healthy alone. Healthy alone, solo, because you're never, as I say a, a lot of times, you're never alone. <laughs> you have this spiritual connection with this person. So being alone, saying I'm alone, I don't have a boyfriend, I don't have my twin with me, whatever, is not true. 
is fundamentally false. Okay, because they are with you always. And in many ways, if you're waiting, it's blocking the connection. And so I'm like, okay, well, I'm not waiting. Well, I'm going to, you know, move here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to Portugal. I'm going to buy the shoes. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Yeah, do it. Just do it. Because that energy is what attracts union. So when you're doing those things, you are in connection with this person, in connection with yourself. That's what I think a lot of people don't want to recognize is that it's fundamentally about your own abundance, your own joy, your own happiness. What brings you that? And I know that when I hear somebody saying right now as I'm saying this, like, well, I want to be married and I want it to look this way and I want, fine, fine. But how are you advancing that in the twin flame energy? Okay, if that's what's going to work for you, if that's what, you know, if that's what's going to work for you, what's the 21st century version of that? What is that? What does that look like? And I am challenging you, all of you watching this right now, to come up with your um, vision of what might work. And I'm here to tell you right now, I've said many times about having my duplex. Um, I've said many times about living in a place that I want to live. Maybe the other person isn't on that path or isn't, let me say that again. That's not right. Maybe the other person has other needs that they want to fulfill for themselves. And how dare I try to put someone in my template, right? This is not a template of 3d stuff. This is not a template of 3d. The connection comes together, the union comes together, the love comes together. But the 3D piece of it, how it unfolds, in, as individual as snowflakes. Okay? So I'm not here to tell you what it's supposed to look like. I'm just here to, I'm just here to share the awakening that I have had about moving into higher vibration, being in your leadership. Because my job here is to help you guys lead the charge. We are really leading this path. And so helping you move into abundance, helping you move into your, where your, this is a fundamentally different, this is a female, female, divine feminine led revolution, soulful revolution. That's why this channel is named soulful revolution, because this is a revolution. This is a fundamentally different looking experience. So can you generate, can you generate in your own life? This is why fun, why being in this um, visioning experience is so important. What does it look like? What does it look like? And I'm telling you that if there is a move backwards in what it looks like versus a move forward, it's going to stay stuck. It's going to stay stuck. Okay. So never ending story. This keeps coming around and around and around here. Chaos and conflict change in the wind. Wow. I knew this was coming. Okay. So we're going to be doing a live on the new moon, the new moon coming the second new moon in July. This is like staying in the cycle of how do I put this? What is my, what is my story to you? Um, okay. Have you ever watched that 70s show? <laughs> There's no cell phones. There's no internet. There's, I mean, just watch the show sometimes and you're like, Oh my God. Think about how life was then and how life is now and how different if you didn't have your, so back then you knew where your friends were, right? Because all the bikes out in the front yard, right? You knew, right? You knew where their friends were. Now you have a device in your hand 24 seven, pretty much that helps you connect with people, helps you connect with what's going on right now. You have a question, look it up on Google, right? The Google box. There's a new paradigm and none of us are really, there's a lot of people who are holding on to an old paradigm. And that's what we're witnessing now. 
and it's about moving forward. It's not about like, I hate technology, so I'm not doing it. So it's not about that. It's not about resisting. It's about knowing that there's evolution taking place, soulful revolution. Revolution, which means we are in concert with the evolution. Revolution is us taking part in it. It's not just happening to us, right? We're taking part. So chaos and conflict, change in the wind. So there is some big upheaval coming. Um, August is going to be amazing. Everybody is going to be put in their place. Ever picked up, dropped off <laughs> in this new paradigm. This is what's happening, okay? We've had so many retrogrades this year. We've had the eclipse season. We've gone through, now we have two moons in July, moving into August. August is going to be a pivotal time. There's no question in my mind here. I feel like, remember I've been saying for months, Leo, in Leo time period, um, the relationships coming together. So you need to get on your horse in terms of what that looks like. What do you want? Okay. I want to live in Maine. Okay. I want to take a world tour. I want to have my own business. I want to have a spiritual business. Remember, we are starting to do that mentorship program. So if you want to be have a merit, have a spiritual business or use your talents and skills in a very uh, sort of new paradigm kind of way. That's what we're doing here on this channel. So let's see here. I'm going to do a reading for the collective. What is going on for you guys? Absolutely. Put the burden down. It's like you're so trying to, or somebody is, I'm not saying you, because you, if you're watching this, you're like, not me. I'm really into it. I'm really into the new 5D. It's about how to put down this paradigm. It's about how to, I want relationship with this person, but I'm not sure what that's going to look like. They live, you know, an hour from me, two hours from me, across the country. They do, you know, what, how you'll know this twin energy is that you both have um a very similar look at life, how you want to unfold with life, how you want to do things in life, that's how you're going to know twin, okay? If you're really different, like this person isn't really talking about um, spiritual stuff, okay, or they're uh, not really sure about that, like you and your wacky friends with your spiritual stuff, no, tower. Wow, look at this. Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords. Strength, that's you guys. Strength, Eight of Swords, Waiting, Ace of Pentacles. Oh, my God. Seven of Pentacles, Hermit. Okay, guys. So something is going to get fundamentally blown up here. This is the bottom here is this is the relationship. Really looking at what is of value. All right, see how looking back is the Hermit. That's Kronos. That is the God of Time looking back to a waiting period or having had, this is the twin energy of waiting. This is absolutely freaking lutely the energy of waiting. This is the new energy. Pages are fresh new energy of moving forward. Okay. And this is you strength and eight of swords. You are just getting stronger. The more you're standing, the more you're standing in this energy of, burden you it has made you stronger so now look at this now there's new newness newness <laughs> on the on the horizon here eight days within eight days this person your twin getting their shit blown up my friend okay this is how when i said about um they're not really into the spiritual stuff they will see the new truth okay they have been, this is what has been going on. Your twin has been really holding on to um, an old paradigm that is outdated, outmoded, okay? Whatever that looks like for you. So, for example, I will just say to you, I, um, I, you know, my life, my living, you know, I live 
on my own. I have a full life. I do all my stuff, twin energy, all this stuff happening around. And yet, my old paradigm of being in relationship was drop everything when this person shows up to plug into their life. Okay? Admitting this live on YouTube. Not live, but you know. Um, I am not there anymore. Okay? I have built a life I love. I enjoy. This is my joy. This is my absolute joy every day talking to you guys. So that's not going away. Okay? And through this expansion that I have been dealing with in my own life, I'm really seeing how far reaching this is. And so that's why this channel has been so supported spiritually and through all of y'all. Thank you to everybody. <clears throat> is because what I am being shown incrementally to help others see their own truth, to help you see what your path is ahead. You know, my job is, remember all that time last summer, a year ago, summer, about the lighthouse, be the lighthouse, not the storm, okay? They're, this person, your twin, is getting their shit blown up, and they are seeing the truth of this right now. Right now, my friends, this is what's happening in August. So aces and aces here, the truth of what moving forward, what goes, what is beyond this opening? What lies beyond that? This is for you two to decide, okay? That's what lies beyond that, this old paradigm, being stuck in this old paradigm. No more. Absolutely no more. Chaos and conflict, a change in the wind. So for those watching this who have been with me on this journey, I feel like there has been a lot of waiting. I feel like there has been a lot of misunderstandings about what it's going to look like. Or <clears throat> So try to wrap your head around this. I want my twin flame relationship. No, I want my twin flame connection. Relationship is the old paradigm. Okay, I want my twin flame connection. What is this supposed to look like for us to support uh, raising the vibration on this planet? Don't forget about mission. Mission is the reason for the twin to be reincarnated at this time period on this planet at the same time in, in this same experience. Okay? Remember, it's about mission. The mission is the twin flame is here to raise the vibration, help other people expand and move forward in our evolution, soulful revolution, my loves. Revolution, right? You're taking part in that. You're raising, you guys who are watching this, who resonate with this, are the torch leaders, are the torch bearers. This is leadership. Leadership is a challenge. It is a challenge to you. If you've ever had a job <clears throat> where you're in charge, it's a challenge, right? Because your job is to see the bigger picture. Your, I'm, I love being in leadership because I see the bigger picture and then I help other people move that forward all together. We're rowing the boat the same direction. But it is lonely at the top, as they say. And why is that? Because there can be, there needs to be at a certain point, a leader who says, this is where we're going, okay? Leadership has its joys, challenges, all of that. But if you've ever been in a leadership world, you know the difference. You know, you're thinking about it in the middle of the night. <clears throat> you wake up in the middle of the night, you're like, oh, did, uh, da, 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 I got to get this person to move this way, move back in this way. I got to, in reality, all you have to do is hold the torch. Hold the torch, and those who are ready will rise up to walk with you. Not behind you, with you, right? Jesus walked with his posse, <laughs> his, his disciples, right? The apostles are one generation down, as far as I remember. But he walked with them, right? He sowed those seeds to the wind. They went out after that. This is what this is like. You guys, it is a challenge. It is hard. And 
I'm changing my definition of hard because hard is rewarding. Hard is expansive, right? Like let's shift that. Let's shift that for ourselves. Challenges, hard, difficult, blah, 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 all those words. Let's shift that. Shift that for ourselves. This is a, this is a gift. This is a mission. This is a true, um, this is the reason you're here on this planet. This is the re this is it. If you're like, oh, I don't know what my purpose is in my life. You're watching this. This is it. This is it. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to look at what are the blocks here. What are the blocks that need to be overcome? This is a new day. Another ace. All right. The, the fact is, and, and magician, I'm <laughs> just like speechless here. This is, these are like, that is the torchbearer. That magician has all the, I hate that. All right. That magician has, this is the torch. This has been resisted in the past because it's singular, right? This isn't two people with the torch. This is one person with the torch. All right. You're leading here. Ending the old paradigms, that is what's been blocked. My goodness. It's, you know, the whole idea of being together in this. We are together in this. All y'all watching this, we are together in this. That's why the Empress Club exists, okay? Because we know that we're all singular moving forward on this path, blowing up this old energy, <clears throat> Okay, let's see. Actions and advice for you, collective. Actions and advice. All right, the fourth days. Are you kidding me? Get, so Ace of Cups, that is on the path. The worry is around that it's not going to look like what I wanted it to look like. Oh, no, what if we never get married? What if we never have a house and kids and cars and boats and dogs? Oh, no, that's really not the purpose here. All right, you can, you can, but I think people are afraid to, you know, they're like, yes, I'm on this spiritual path. Yes, I want this high vibration love. Oh, but wait a second. If it's not about looking like old way, being, being, having a traditional, very traditional kind of path or having this old thing, if it's not about that, then I'm not sure I want it. Okay. But it can be. It's more satisfying than that, okay? That's an old way of doing things. It's a little outmoded. You guys need to be the torchbearer of what comes next. What is this new thing? You got all four aces here, all right? You got all four aces here. I'm telling you, insane. Um, messages to you from the divine partner. Messages to you from the divine partner. Holy shit. Star. They see it now. They see it now. They see it now. Wow. That is so cool. Seven of Swords. Eight of Wands. They have been they have been lying about not seeing this. Eight of Wands, Queen of Wands. Alright, this is there's gonna be a passionate conversation coming soon. All right, passionate conversation coming soon. Lovers, four of swords, becoming lovers, very healing energy. Once you move away from this old thinking, this old process, and open yourself up to a new way of being, it's very freeing and vulnerable and loving and all of this kind of stuff. What does the new paradigm look like? What does that look like? And it's different for everybody, okay? And But make no mistake... You're already connected. Oh, we're not together. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay. So let's see how this unfolds here. Unions are coming. The first wave of unions are coming in Leo time. They are, absolutely. Page of Cups. Look at this beautiful. The two of you now on the same page. Beginning. A beginning. No more looking back. No more in this energy of waiting. Okay, no more looking backward. Two of you are on the same page. <laughs> oh my God. So coming into being 
emperor and empress. All right. The emperor has his life. The empress has her life. They're, they are connected. They are together. Queen of Cups, Knight of Wands. I feel like there's going to be a big conversation about sex and love. And how do we craft our relationship? What works for us in the sense that it expands our mission? What works for us in the sense that it, it puts us squarely more than ever committed to mission? What does that look like? This is the conversation. All right. They have run from it. They have deceived in the past, all of this kind of stuff. But now they're seeing how important it is to move forward in this, how important it is to be, to get, to be together in physical union so that the 5D can thrive. The first wave, this is, I, I did a reading, I think a month ago, I don't know, but it was about timelines. Go look back on the channel, it was about timelines. The first wave of Twin Flame Union is happening in Leo time period, which is now. Okay? The first wave. Outmoded, out, outdated, uh, karmic patterns being healed, moved on from. Wow. Love yourself first. Healing family issues, passion, heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Exactly what we're just saying here. So healing family issues, healing all the codependency, healing all of the, the codependency of the old paradigm of relationships is staggering. It is also um, sort of part of what we think to be relationship. Okay? So there's going to be how is money handled? Okay? Not in a codependent way, in a co-equal um, way, or in an interdependent way. Interdependent. Okay? That gives a foundation, a connection, and then allows two people to be high vibration in their mission. Okay, whatever that means, whatever that looks like. Okay, you guys have mission together, but you also equally have mission separate. And as Soulful Revolution is talking about, the feminine, the divine feminine, now has, is relinquishing some old ways of doing things and coming into this new space. And that is going to mean some, it's like, yes, I want to be on the spiritual path, but I don't want to let go of marriage. I don't want to let go of, you know, living with my partner. I don't want to let go of those things. And for some of you, you do, you will. For some of you, you won't. But it's really comes down to how are we doing this relationship that is supportive of mission, that is supportive of the 5D experience, that is supportive of all of us raising the vibration of the planet. Because... In my view, a lot of people, friends of mine, family members of mine, has made them smaller. And that's the opposite of the twin flame journey. It's here to make you bigger. It's here for you to be leaders. Raise that torch. Raise the torch. All right, so it's really happening right now. This is Leo time period, okay? Within eight days, you're going to see a wave of unions. I feel like it's already been happening. I've gotten a lot of emails from people who are already connecting, becoming in union. Things are coming in as, as a surprise. Oh my God, they're here, right? Things are happening right now. So it's my job to share, to, you know, raise that torch, raise that sort of truth of like, Hey, mission. That's really the reason here. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is the end of this video. We're going to be doing a live this week about um, the new moon in Leo happening on the Ju July 31st here in the Northern Hemisphere. We're going to be doing that. We're going to also be talking about um, uh, Mercury going direct. Hopefully no more freezing in the video. Yay! <laughs> All right. Take this and understand about what it means to pull apart from old traditions and create new paths because that's what you're here for. All right, my loves.
The new paradigm is here.